Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabriel. Just on the Fan TV, man. Back at you on a video. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the content, get out to more Ravens fans and things of that nature. So let's hop right into it, okay? So the Ravens have just signed Annie Isabella to their practice squad. And you know, let's break down the sign. Let's talk about the player and what he could potentially do for the Ravens, okay? So Andy Isabella is a receiver, um, like I said, ex-Cardinals player, 2019 draft pick, second round, 62 overall. Um, and he went to he went to Massachusetts, University of Massachusetts, okay? And he's a straight up fire, straight speedster. So 427 speed, 5'9, buck 90. So not the biggest guy in the world, but he is fast. He can't get down the field. Now, what I will say is for his time with the Cardinals, okay? Um, he was kind of the perfect Cliff Kingsbury kind of receiver, spread offense, things of that nature. Kind of got out, he, not kind of, he got off to a slow start to his career. Then the Cardinals either drafted or just kept adding receivers via free agency or trade. All right, you know, they add, you know, Hollywood, they add Rondell Moore, they add AJ Green. It's obviously this is at different points in time. But the point is that every time a similar Andy Isabella was going to get his shot and move up, a new guy was added in. So it never really quite happened for him. So, um, as of right now, um, he was waived by the Cardinals and, you know, the Ravens picked him up. This move really shouldn't be too surprising because initially when Andy Isabella was available, uh, the Ravens were one of the teams that were interested in trading for Andy Isabella, right? Obviously, a trade never materialized. And now we're here, here we are. You know, they waited the process out. They signed him, okay? Now... I will say this about Isabella. He walks into the Ravens team and is instantly the fastest receiver on this team. Um, I don't think there's much debate about that. Now, the question is, what is his, what can he do for this offense and things of that nature? We'll have to see how they use him. You know, that's 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 the main thing. You can be fast. You can be explosive. You can be all kinds of things. But if you're not used properly, it's not going to matter too much. OK, now the Ravens did get a little glimpse of Andy Isabella this preseason. Um, as the Ravens and the Cardinals did match up and they did play. And I believe Andy Isabella had five catches for 54 yards. And most of those catches and yards were on Brandon Stevens, who is uh, obviously the Ravens' third cornerback, but a guy that they view as a, a starting quality player. So let me just check that one more time. Yeah, five catches, 54 yards, uh, longer 16. He had a couple of nice plays on Brandon Stevens. Brandon Stevens had a couple of plays on him. That was, that was uh, pretty good as well. They got Brandon Stevens for, I believe, like a pass in the on that on, on that game when he was guarding Isabella. Um, I, I didn't think it was a pass in the but, you know, it is what it is. But the point being is the Ravens saw Isabella up close and personal, and they probably liked what they saw. He was okay. He wasn't, you know, a world beat or nothing like that, but he did his thing. And um, that speed, you just can't teach that kind of speed, all right? Like I said, 427, he's a flyer. He gets down the field. Um, the Ravens have a stretch element to their offense. Rashad Bateman can do that. Devin Dubnyk can do that. But uh, like I said, Isabella is the fast, will be the automatically the, probably the fastest player overall on this team um, the moment he steps into the building. So you can see the Ravens wanted to continue to add to the receiving core, continue to add speed to it. Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to make this sign out to be something that's going to change the Ravens offense, that's going to, um, I don't know, set the dynamic of the team, Okay. He was released for the, from the Cardinals for a reason, all right? Now, maybe he can find a, a new home here in Baltimore and become the player that he couldn't become over there in Arizona, and maybe he can become that player here. But let's just not get our expectations too high for what Isabella can do because as of right now, like I said, he's on the practice squad. He probably won't even be activated for, you know, this game this week. I mean, we'll see what happens. If he is, I can't imagine he'll play much because he starts to learn the playbook and things of that nature. And um, But... It gives Greg Roman a player similar in stature and similar in speed, probably even faster than uh, Hollywood Brown to where, you know, maybe some of those bombs that he was dropping off of Hollywood, he could feel comfortable maybe down the line doing something like that for Andy Isabella, okay? Um, so I I'm looking at his, his season so far this year, and, yeah, he didn't – not much action. Five targets, two catches, 21 yards. And that's kind of been the um, – that's kind of been it for him, you know. So the Cardinals weren't playing him. Uh, they decided to release him. I believe during the offseason, he even requested a trade. And I don't think the, I don't think the Cardinals denied his trade request. It's just that there were no potential suitors that, as far as, you know, met, met the value that the Cardinals wanted to trade him for. 
Okay. So um, with that being said, you know, Anna Isabella is a guy where throughout his career, I'm um, looking at his best season was in 2020. He had 21 catches, uh, 224 yards, <clears throat> excuse me, and two touchdowns. Okay. Long of 54. That was, that was his best season, you know? So he hasn't, one, gotten A, much opportunity, and he hasn't had the production to back it up, obviously. Through his career, throughout four years, we're talking about a guy who only has 54 targets and 33 receptions, okay? So while I do like the signing, I, I, I do. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to say I don't like the signing. What I'm going to say is the fact that let's not make it out to be something that is not until we can see what he can provide to this team. But as far as just breaking down who he is, he's a guy who adds an element to the Ravens offense that they don't currently have. The Ravens have guys that can get down the field. Yes, of course they do. Like I already named him, Rashad Bateman, Devin Duvernay. But Andy Isabella is by far the fastest player that is on this team offensively and even really defensively as well. Um, so that's a different kind of speed. Okay. Now, how much time will he get? I don't know. You know, we have to see. Roman, so far this year, he's liking a lot of two tight ends, two wide receiver sets, okay? And for a guy like Isabella to crack the lineup, that means Duvernay has to come off the field. That means Bateman has to come off the field. And in my opinion, those guys already come off the field too much, all right? I think Rashad Bateman is the wide receiver one, but he plays only like 60, 65% of the snaps because Pat Ricard plays a lot. You know what I'm saying? So that's a design issue. So that's why it's kind of... I don't want to say hard, but it, it's, man, maybe it is hard. It's a little hard to get uh, excited about, oh, okay, we signed a speed wide receiver, a guy who can really stretch the field because we don't know how much he's going to play. We don't know how he's going to be used. And, um, and, and the, yeah, and that's it, right? Now, the Ravens have been signing wide receivers and things of that nature just for uh, special teams. I don't think Isabella is that kind of guy. I think the Ravens are signing him to be a offensive weapon on the team. So like when you see like a Bailey Gaither, a Riley Webb, two guys who were signed on the practice squad and maybe even potentially will be elevated. Like Riley Webb has been active, activated for a couple of games this year um, to be practice. I'm sorry, be uh, special teams guys. I don't feel that that's why they got Isabella because if they did. then that's, that's a waste. That's not why you use them. You got them because you say, Hey, look, this is a guy who we think is a talented wide receiver. Who's a fast wide receiver. Let's see what he could do for our team. And that's why you that's why you go out, sign Isabella to the practice squad. Um, I would imagine that the Ravens will give him a couple weeks, maybe, learn the playbook, get acclimated, and then we'll see him. Um, now, obviously, that could change. If Rashad Bateman is out for this Sunday's game versus the Bengals, they could say, hey, Andy, we need a receiver this week, and they could put him out there. But until that happens, I'm just going to say they're going to give Andy Isabella a couple weeks to get ready. And then, um, you know, hopefully it's off to the races for him, okay? Now, this is a guy that Ravens fans can look forward to something happening, but don't expect anything as far as, like, oh, he's about to change the offense entirely, okay? So I would say temper expectations just a little bit, but this is a, I think this is a good quality signing for the Ravens for who was out there and who was available, all right? Because obviously the Ravens aren't taking chances on guys like Odell and Will Fuller, these are two guys that I would love to see the Ravens bring into the building. And just because they signed Isabella doesn't mean that they can't bring those guys in. But the fact that they haven't really even been in discussion with those guys, I would say that is probably unlikely we get that we get that caliber of receiver. So if you look down the next caliber, the next rung, a guy like Isabella, young, fast, talented, uh, never really got the opportunity in Arizona. He's the kind of guy the Ravens are looking for, the kind of guy that the Ravens want to pick up and add to the roster. Okay. So as far as Andy Isabella signing goes, it's good for the Ravens. It's good for the team. Um, now it's up to Greg Roman to use him. That's it. Simple as that. And we'll see where that goes from there, man. All right. I'm going to get out of here, man. It's your boy, Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.